say 23rd of, uh, he'd be, would be five months, 23rd of June. Yeah. So he's just saying he's a little bit unsure yeah, of me, and he, then yeah. he's making a nice connection with you. So this is a nice opportunity for me to tell you about something that's called, a uh, big fancy word, called counter conditioning. Yeah. So have you, have you, are you familiar yeah. with that word? No. So the idea behind it is me, yeah. scary object, predicts yeah. something good. Yeah. Now, so a lot of people, when they come in the door, they might hold it in their hand like that, and you can see that he wants that treat, but he yeah. doesn't want to come over. So I just, as you've noticed, I've tossed it a little bit farther, yeah. and then he can decide if he would like to come a little bit closer. I would never, ever, ever force him to come over, because that would put, some, put him in a predicament where he feels he might have to say, oh, she is scary. You know, she's a nice Hang on, just, if you want, you can just leave him on the floor and let him sort of decide. Yeah, yeah. There, so he's trying to, he's, he's looking at you for a little bit of okay. support, and that's nice. Yeah. Oh, he's so brave. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. You still see he's doing that little stretch away. Yeah. But I'm not asking him to come in, because that would make... If he wants to come in, he can have a little smell. There yeah. you go. And you can tell him he's a good boy. Well, mm -hmm. they go poppers. Yes, you are. So dogs that are a little bit shy, mm -hmm. we don't want to make them go over to that scary person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's just uh, he hasn't been exposed. No, to exactly. Life. So this is a time where he's just, you know, and it's unfortunate because... You know, I was afraid to take him anywhere because she said, "No, don't, don't take him anywhere, Bessie, because he, you know, he can pick up something." So, mm -hmm. you so want to be very was, cautious. Was pretty sheltered, right? Yeah. I mean, when he was in the garden, and we, you know, keep him active here in the house, and we have the grandkids that come over, and you know, uh, you know, my son is home. He he works shifts, so he's on call. So, but uh, he's, I mean, overall, he's been pretty good. He's very cute. What a good boy. Do you see how he's starting to feel a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit better? Like, I mean, I could have waltzed on in, so, that, you know. Um, well, that's okay that you're doing that. When somebody you're, is not a trainer comes in, they're not going to do this every time they come in, right? Well, if you advocate for it, you can certainly have them. So what, they're, what you're going to do is you're going to have people come in and right. ignore them. Yeah. And let him decide yeah. when he would like to. So see, this is his choice. Yeah. See now, is, is, see how now his back legs are still a little far back. Yeah. But they're he's feeling a little tiny, tiny bit better. Mm -hmm. There. Now he's having a nice little smell, but he's not. You see how he doesn't want to come all the way in though. Yeah. So when strangers come in, right. They really should ignore him. And absolutely, they yeah. could be sitting in a chair, mm -hmm. and you could be having your cup of tea or whatever. And they could just be simply dropping treats at their feet yeah. and ignoring him. Mm -hmm. So what does that sort of say, right? Yeah. Oh, these scary people yeah. mean good things are going to happen. That's right. There, see, this is his, his choice. I'm sort of leaving my hand there. See how he still he says, I don't want my back legs to go any farther. A stage where, and like today I found he was barking and everybody in the house was barking at them. On the back deck barking, and I told him, I said, no, no barking, no barking. So there's, I won't let him bark. I don't want him to say he doesn't know it's okay. Well, okay. So if we talked a little bit about barking. Yeah. So barking is a way for him to communicate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we could have barking um, because he wants you to throw the ball. Yeah. So that would be demand, mm -hmm. right? Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. So certainly, mm -hmm. if we throw the ball. Right. That is kind of rewarding mm -hmm. that bark because he's being right. demanding. Mm -hmm. Then the kind of bark that he was doing when I came in, mm -hmm. it's kind of it was kind of different. It was different, right? It was more like I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm a little. I'm a little tiny bit afraid. Mm -hmm. You're really really scary. Mm -hmm. So that's an emotional bark. It's yeah. like it's his way of communicating. I'm a little bit scared. Mm -hmm. The thing about taking away that bark mm -hmm. is that you're telling him the way he feels is is 
wrong. Yeah, we know I'm not going to hurt him, and your friends aren't going to hurt him, but he doesn't feel that. No. Does it? He doesn't feel that. Mm -hmm. And that's why if it's, a, if it's kind of like I'm, I'm scared, oh, my God, go away, mm -hmm. because that, see how he's, he's being a little braver there? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, he's just telling me I'm a little worried, I'm scared, I'm scared. So if we suppress that bark, if we make it go away, mm -hmm. you're taking his way his ability to communicate how he feels. Yeah. You, so do you see how that sort of... So how do you handle that when you go barking on the deck of the neighbors and we're on your grass? It, well, then what you want to do is you want the people to predict good things. So yeah. really, and when a dog is afraid mm -hmm. and he is barking because he's afraid, not because he wants you to throw the ball right. or, you know, come play, right? right? Dem that's demand. Mm -hmm. Come here now, I need you, I want you, I want you. Yeah. But I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. If, just like I'm doing now, mm -hmm. when he was show barking and showing fear, mm -hmm. I started tossing treats. Mm -hmm. It will not reward how he feels. It's no. not going to reward that bark. No. He can't. He can't make himself mm -hmm. be afraid. He can't say, "Oh yeah, when I when I bark like that, I'm going to get treats." Yeah. So you need to make people mm -hmm. look really pleasant in yeah. his eyes right. and that means good things mm -hmm. happen yeah. now if by chance you know you you are out on on the deck mm -hmm. then if he sees people it oh that a good puppy you're so good <laughs> um then give him i just saw a little bully stick right yeah. you might want to save that bully stick for then so he sees somebody give him a bully stick to chew yeah. so therefore Seeing people means good things happen. Yeah. Does that kind of kind of yeah, make sense? Yeah, because at a distance because he was like first time. That's the first time he's actually ever d done it because up to now he'd be in the garden and buddy said he doesn't bark. I said no. <laughs> this is something new now, right? But you, so to see see um, right now like see his, see his posture has changed somewhat. Yeah. He's more he's like oh you mean good things are about to happen. So he's really more willing to 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 engage. Mm -hmm. um, if I stood up now, Christina, mm -hmm. he would feel very frightened again. He would feel very frightened. Yeah. And again, he knows I has, have treats here now, mm -hmm. but he, his willingness to come closer is there, but I'm not using the treat to make him come. Um, he's scooting his little bum a lot. Does yeah. he have something wrong? No, that's no, no, the first time he's done that. Yeah. Yes, usually um, uh, anal glands. There, see how there, see. Oh, now he says you're okay, lady. Oh, he says, but oh, yeah. But you know, even my last few times when my son is out and he comes in, he uh, he's, he's, puppy. He'll, he'll bark or sure. Yeah, I, I think that's this. I don't know with him. But he still thinks he doesn't know who he is and he's afraid. Or yeah, he will. Really okay, so and that's another thing when when people come to the door. Mm -hmm. I, a, a naturally, a dog often says, "Hey, someone's there. Someone's there. Yeah, someone's right. there." Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So that could be okay. You're you're fine now. Mm -hmm. he's, he's really wanting to to check out what I have here. Did a good puppy. Yeah. Like I don't mind it when my dog barks when somebody comes, but he no. doesn't need to keep barking and barking no. and barking. And if he need, if he keeps barking and barking, mm -hmm. well. A, is he, I, I say, is he being demanding, right. like he wants attention, mm -hmm. or B, is he frightened to death of this person? And you always can read it by the, the, the body language of, of the dog. You want, what? Do you want her to come in now? Do you, do you want me to come in? There, oh, see, there, the puppy. And yeah. here's another thing there. When, as he was coming in, I was looking at him right in the eye, mm -hmm. and then he had that little tiny bark, right? So I stopped looking at him, and then he said, oh, I'll come in. Because that, for a dog, right. is very threatening, right? right? Mm -hmm. There's a good puppy. Now, that's a good poppers. Nice. Oh, you're so brave. We're going to play a game, and we're going we're gonna to do stuff with your... Now, with your I body. am going to stand up, and as I stand up, I'm just going to see how he's... I'm going to toss a piece of food. Sure. I've had my car girls in there. He's, 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 he's fine. I just I haven't done it since the past week. I've noticed. Maybe this is age. 
so at, at five. At this stage, he's starting to notice people more. I yeah. don't know. Are you making a few crumbs on your and floor? And then do they, do they grow out of that? They can, yes. Right? I mean, is that a stage that they grow through? Yeah. They, they, oh, yes, absolutely. So you said he's how old? He's Sorry. four and a half months. So, yeah. So they go through little fear periods, right? Where they yeah. feel a little bit unsure and a little bit unf uh, afraid. He could very well be uh, feeling that. So he's feeling, oh, there's a big treat for you. Oh, my God, you go eat that. That'll be a whole meal. He hasn't eaten much today, actually. He That's didn't eat much lunch, and he didn't eat, I didn't give him any supper. Okay, good, because so he, he had a lot of treats. There, Mind something. you, they were really, really, really small. Yeah, there's food in his dish, but he, he, he's not eating as much either. So where are we going to go? Uh, the kitchen, the... Yeah, we'll go to the kitchen. Okay, is that to my right? The kitchen, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, hang on there now. Okay. Hey, he's fine. So, because I'm moving, oh, he says I can't go back there. Because I'm moving, that changes it for him, right? Oh, that's a good, great boy. There. What a good boy. Hey, he's so cute. He's very cute. Yeah, he's, he'll be fine. He just, uh, he's just saying, oh, dear, nice. See, now he says, oh, I like you, lady. Where's it going? What? What? Where are you? Oh, hello. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's the nicest kid. My God, he's so cute, Christina. Isn't he? He's so cute. He's a handful. Yes, we. I got a little terrier in me, you know. I got a little terrier in me, so I could well, we be. Had a terrier. Yeah. For sixteen years, and he was so good. People thought he didn't bark, he didn't shed, he didn't do any hurt anymore. He's like, is he really a dog? Are you sure he's not human, right? Oh, the puppers. Oh, yeah, he's I gotta say, he was a puppy, but he wasn't as he wasn't as much trouble as this guy. So, when a puppy is feeling a little bit unsure, if you make uh, if you make visitors a, a, a nice, pleasant situation, and lots of support, and, and having them ignore, yeah. once he's feeling comfortable enough to be patted, and by the way, I'll, I'll follow up with a, yeah. uh, an email because uh, I already was sort of talking about some stuff that we didn't communicate with right. via. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once he's feeling, he he bites. He, he he constantly wants to bite. He's like he's, he's chewing up. He's just Yes, he was always chewing, so I just let him chew, and he still doesn't. So how do I get him out of that? Does he grow out of that? Yeah. So just let me just let me finish this thought yeah. about strangers, okay? Yeah. So when when once he starts to feel a little bit tiny better about the stranger, yeah. me, which he's yeah. feeling now, yeah. and then he's willing to be petted. A, a stranger probably shouldn't pet him any longer than like three to five seconds. And then they can take his, their hands off of him, and he will let them know if he wants to be right. continued to to be petted. Right. So if, if he came back over there now, hi, so I can give a little bit of love, hello puppers, and I take my hands off, and he just said to me then, oh, I think I'll have some more. Yeah. This is for dogs that are a little bit shy. Yeah. Now, how do I know if he wants to be continued to be petted? Well, if he's moving forward, but if he moves away, then I'm not going to reach out. No. That's for dogs that are a little bit shy. If he wants to be padded, he'll hang around and, and stay.